my battery back up front with the heat i'd like to thank a good friend of mine um at least i considered him a good friend he gave uh a paypal tip jar to me and helped me in that tip jar well these ended up being in my way let me just get them out of the way for the time being that paypal tip jar helped me buy a blower motor for the heater in my truck and i'd like to to thank you sir you know who you are and i know who you are and it meant the world to me to get that paypal tip jar i went to AutoZone and got me a uh, blower motor for my heater with that tip so my paypal tip jar link is in the description description of the video uh it was much appreciated thank you sir thank you paul for the warm heat you're an amazing friend god bless brother So yeah, it's lunch now. I'm just getting out. Got a bunch of scrap to get. And uh, I'm not feeling good. Went out one day, which was yesterday morning. <clears throat> and I'm starting to feel really sick again. Feels like it's trying to get in my chest. But... gonna try to picked up some stuff y'all didn't see cause my GoPro died on me yesterday morning <clears throat> at the scrap yard I got a stove some bicycles bed frames pinch of Matic 2000s oh, hot water heater and a dryer I got my dolly back here. So I'm gonna <clears throat> get this bicycle off because my daughter wants it. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the uh, body shop. And he's got a bunch of stuff there y'all saw. Well, y'all hadn't seen it yet. Because I'm still uploading the video. I need a computer bad <clears throat> it takes six seven hours to do a video that's just upload it to YouTube uh, that's not rendering it to a movie and then uploading it that's just uploading it to YouTube so that's crazy but anyhow I'm going to get this bicycle off here and then uh, try to get going maybe I can wish me luck it's cold out today it's in the 30's of course that, I know that's not code compared to what you guys up north are going through i feel for you but we finally got some sun today finally quit raining for a little while so today and tomorrow is supposed to be pretty so anyway i'm gonna try to get this bike off i'll be back Decided to go ahead and get the wire out of this dryer and stove before I go load up any more metal.
Uh, Canadian treasure hunter let me know uh, about that stove what else I need to focus on uh, that look like a really low grade just power board control board to me but if there's something in there that you know about I would appreciate your advice on it or anybody else I mean I'm not just saying I'll only take advice from Canadian Treasure Hunter. I'll take advice from everybody. We're never too smart to learn more, is my theory. So, any help would be greatly appreciated. Is there silver in these contacts? There probably is. I don't know. Y'all tell me. battery back up front with the heat I'd like to thank a good friend of mine um, at least I considered him a good friend he gave uh, a PayPal tip jar to me and helped me in that tip jar well, 
these ended up being in my way. Let me just get them out of the way for the time being. That PayPal tip jar helped me buy a blower motor for the heater in my truck. And I'd like to, to thank you, sir. You know who you are. And I know who you are. And it meant the world to me to get that PayPal tip jar. I went to AutoZone and got me a uh, blower motor for my heater with that tip. So my PayPal tip jar link is in the description description of the video uh it was much appreciated thank you sir for the heat in my truck um i'm working on trying to save up money to buy me a computer because the computer i've got is just not editing video very well keeps crashing on me and uh, that's pretty frustrating when it does. That's why you haven't seen a video any sooner. I keep having trouble with it rendering. And when I do get it rendered, it takes seven, eight hours to upload to YouTube because it's not a fast computer. I'd like to build me a computer and that's kind of my goal is save up enough money to start building one. I used to build computers for a living, amongst other things, lots of other things. And uh, I can still do it if I want to, so looks like I'm gonna have to go back to working on computers, build me one. So I can have a computer that runs. And not and not give me a problem anyway i'm fixing to or about to air up this tire that keeps going flat on my truck i mean on my trailer that i need to plug and haven't taken the time to do that yet so i got to get that done need to air the tire up because it was blowing pretty hard yesterday i think it threw a plug out of it at some point because i used to have it plugged in the center tread anyway that's enough talk for right now i'll be back we're here <coughs>
car parts loaded up old barrel and a few other odds and ends that i've been getting out of this pile um Helium steel. old parts but this for the life of me i don't know what it is it's metal with bearings wood handle and it comes up to this metal connection up here i'm not really sure what this is do any of you guys know comment below if y'all know what that is i'm gonna put it to the side Oh, 
Got my dirty aluminum unloaded, a transmission and a transfer case. Now let's go down and get the rest of this unloaded. Got several things I need to start working on getting picked up.
these go over there, don't they? Oh, that goes in there, I think. them go right over there. Let's wait and get paid. folks i weighed got paid all right any guesses on how much metal i had from that body shop on here plus a couple of appliances you better hurry up and comment down below because you're about to find out in three two one all right i had one thousand nine hundred and fifty six pounds I never would have dreamed it on the trailer from that body shop. And the depressing part about it is it uh, brought $141.81 for the shred. Now I had unclean aluminum in that transmission and transfer case out of a truck. Uh, it was $22.40 for 224 pounds of unclean aluminum, which I got paid um, two more cents a pound by selling it as unclean aluminum than I would have if I just throwed it off the truck. So it was well worth that to me. So a grand total of $164.21 for um, just a couple hours of work yesterday afternoon. So, not bad. It's all good. Price is gonna fluctuate. <clears throat> and, uh, you just gotta keep on hauling. One day it's gonna pay. One day it's not gonna pay. But it'll average out. So, just keep on hauling, folks. Don't give up. I'm headed to figure out my schedule for picking up more scrap so i'll talk at you later